Good morning! Welcome to the Triple B TV live stream. Wonderful to have all you beautiful people here with us today. Obviously, I got my buddy, what? Obviously, I got my buddy <laughs> Travis Johnson with me here. If you watched the vlog channel, you saw that we had a pairing, two bloods. Okay. I don't even see your chat. Oh, look, it stopped, I nope. think. I think we're back. No, I think we're, we're back? working. I see nothing. Don't worry about you. Worry about them. No, I know, but I mean... Oh, wait. There is a frozen image of... No, no, you get one. Oh, okay. I think we've come to a realization is that Over time I somehow. actually need to get a new computer. <laughs> I'm pr I think that needs to happen at this point. And I've been dreading it. I'm also excited about it. I'm dreading the money spent, yeah. but excited about getting a new computer that works better. You know what's funny, though, is you have to make sure you get a good a, or a better computer. Because I got a new computer recently, and uh, I couldn't print out any of my shipping labels last night. But then I got my old beat-up piece of junk computer out of the you know dust-covered box and uh, printed them all just fine. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Get a better computer. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be the plan. It would be brand new. Right. And it would be one I'm used to working with and just with, like, more power. And more right. RAM. Right. More terabytes of I space. I don't know what I did wrong, but apparently my computer is not any better than my old computer. It's faster. I mean, cool. but... Uh, the mic's really static. I thought it was just a headset. Oh. Is it? Which uh -oh. one? Uh-oh. Both? Okay, try him. Tr or me. Me. Oh, it's you. My mic is staticky. It's your mic God, that's broken. I, love it. I mean, I don't know. Is it better? Is it fixed now? No. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Am I staticky? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Push it together. Is it still, is it better? Yeah, it's still static either. It's better. Okay, I'm going to do this. Hold on. Oh, oh. Hold on. What are we doing? I'm going to put my mic here. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to go. We're having tech, technical difficulties. How's uh, that? Less staticky. Less staticky, but still staticky? Talking to the mic. Yeah, I'm talking to the mic right now. Cool. We're good? Yep. Everything's better? Yeah. Good. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. The internet doesn't want me to live stream on Triple B TV, I guess. I mean, this isn't the first time. Anyway, let's let's get into... Let's talk about the breeding loans. Before okay. Before anything fucks up even worse. <laughs> okay. Where do you want to start? Well, you and I have a breed. You're the only person I've ever done an actual breeding loan with. Okay, so Garrett I sent me some snakes once. You have, right. you have more breeding loans going on than I do. I do have a few breeding loans. Um, so breeding loans are uh, there's something you have to be careful of. I mean, uh, I mean, breeding loans are something that you have to to be careful of. You have to really feel uh, comfortable with the person. Um, uh, I mean, the bottom line is, is is you have to feel comfortable enough that that person isn't going to screw you over and vice versa. You can't screw over that other person. Uh, I mean, when you and I went into a breeding loan, it, the goal was like, look, like we're going to have lots of communication because that's the key is, is communication. Um, lots of communication up front of what is expected. Um, what if this you know, happens. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and that's kind of the bot. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, and that's kind of the bottom line is, is that you can't screw somebody over. And I mean, uh, and you can't feel like you're going to get screwed over because you have to talk about all the possible variables. You know, I mean, you have one of my blood pythons, you know, like if he dies in your care, I don't, 
I'm not going to find you as, as fault to that. You know what I mean? Like, what if I, I mean, what if I took him out and fed him to my chickens? Well, I mean that, that might be your fault, but <laughs> like, um, but yeah, I mean, it's something you have to be careful of because I mean, um, uh, you know, you can certainly get yourself in trouble, um, with not with lack of communication with people. Um, you know, I've definitely done breeding loans in the past where we didn't communicate enough of what we, we expected and have things written down and, and that sort of thing. Um, you know, it was, it was mutual agreements that, you know, and then it went time and time, you know, I mean, past time, uh, and we didn't write anything down. And then it was like, you know, we got to the end and it was like, well, you said this, well, you said that, like, I mean, so you have to be, you know, so you've had some very, go, you've had some go bad. I wouldn't say bad, but yeah, I mean, not as smoothly as you want them to go. You know what I mean? Like, um, I oh, mean, you better take your snake and go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. I've learned, I've learned from those mistakes that like you have to have really good communication. I mean, um, you know, I've done a couple loans with a couple different people, you know, you included, I mean, and, um, you know, it's, it's all about being really communicative. I mean, as you have him here, you know, you're doing the breeding. And so you've, you know, been in contact with me to, you know, saying, Oh yeah, I'm pairing this or I'm that like, and I do the same thing. Like I have breeding loans from people that, um, you know, I'm constantly like, you know, texting pictures or, or like, you know, shooting them, them messages and going, Hey, you know, this is, you know, or this is looking good or this is pairing or this is this, or this is that. Like uh, you do lots of communication. I mean, I think one of the biggest things is that you have to be pretty good friends. Like uh, I think because at the end of the day, it's like, uh, I mean, my goal is that it's like, if something goes bad, like, you know, I want, to be friends afterwards, regardless of whatever happens. You know what I mean? Like, and so you have to, I mean, you have to have a fair amount of trust in that person. You know what I mean? Like, I think that is key. And I think that's why I was okay doing one with you is because I know who you are as a person. Right. Like I know where your values lie. I know, right. I know your family and I, I know like the level. Right, right, right. And so I was comfortable with, it. I was like, I know that we both are the same place where, if something goes wrong, our friendship is more important than whatever could possibly whatever go wrong. could possibly go wrong. Right, which right. is not always the case with with uh, people doing breeding loans. I, I've brought no. it up to Lindy, you know, um, and through the course of you know lots of phone calls and and lots of text messages back and forth and and stuff like that, we've become friends. Um, and um, and he came down for Carpet Fest one year. And yep. like, yeah, I came he over. saw that was, that was my first carpet. Fest. Yeah. Yeah. And like he, he saw how I cared for my, my animals. Um, and, uh, and he, he pulled me aside and he's like, you know, I, I, I'd like to do some breeding loans with you. I have some stuff that I I think, you know, could benefit you and vice versa. You could benefit me. Um, you know, I'd like to do something with you. Um, and, if anybody the, on the stream doesn't know who Nick Nick Mutton is, Inland Reptile wrote the book on carpet pythons. Carpet pythons, yeah. Has bred I mean, most species. He wrote the book on uh, um, what anthill? Or well, I call them anthill pythons, but the children's pythons, anthill pythons, the um, Antaresia species. He wrote has that bred book as well. Most species of pythons. Yeah, most of them. Uh, he he uh, he's actually made it a goal, uh, like uh, to to get them all. Um, it's actually he's he's been having a lot of fun with it, uh, in getting like all the low hanging fruit, re you know, recently. <laughs> so, I mean, he was grabbing up, like, so he does. He hates blood pythons. Like, he thinks they pee too much and like can't stand them too much. And like, yeah, like, what is he talking about? <laughs> for him, they pee too much, <laughs> and um, and like, uh, he doesn't. He's not a big fan of. Uh, well, he likes retics, but he like Burmese pythons. Likes he, like, he but the retics don't pee too much for him. No, the bur the the retics are fine. But like, <laughs> it, it's been funny to watch him like you know, uh, you know, at shows. Like we we were at the uh, the Sacramento show together, and he was like, 
buying a retix and I'm going, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like we're in the auction and he's like putting up more money. And I'm like, what are you doing? And like, he's like, Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get them all. Like <laughs> it's this contest between him and some of his other friends. Like, and like, yeah, it's, it's pretty funny to watch. Like, um, but yeah, he's produced, uh, pretty much most of the Python species out there. Um, and, uh, He's a great guy. Uh, he, um, like I said, me and him have been friends for, for a couple of years now. And, uh, I mean, we do some breeding loans. I mean, and there's, uh, and, and kind of the same thing. It's like, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, that trust and communication. I mean, um, you know, uh, and there's, there's not a ton of people that he'll do breeding loans with. Like, um, you know, and, and so I, I'm honored honestly to, to be, to be able to, uh, be somebody that he can trust and, and say that, you know, he'll, he'll do a breeding loan with me. I mean, um, um, it's funny. I, I my wife always, uh, you know, jokes that he's my boss or, or my second wife. Um, because when he calls, I'm like, Oh, I got to take this. <laughs> like, like, and I run off into the snake room and I've disappeared for, you know, uh, you know, a half an hour to an hour. Well, that's the type of person you would want to do a breeding loan with. That's, and that's why I've done one with you too, is because yeah. I know that your, your word is basically gold. Right. Which right. in the There's, instance, in the instance, I, I want to, I just dropped a chip on the ground. I'm not going to eat it now. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, <laughs> oh, I missed. Plenty of snake poo on this floor. I wouldn't. Not too much poo. I mean, yeah, there's sure some urate stuff. I'd be more worried about Garrett Harrell's sweat that he probably left behind than anything. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> Speaking of Carpet Fest, we're going to be talking about Carpet Fest in the Zoom call afterwards. So <laughs> Carpet Fest. Since 2020 was a. Wah, wah, wah. I had a good time. Yeah, no, I mean, fun time was had by all that showed up, but I mean, uh, not many people showed up. I, I mean, would say see. anybody out there that's thinking about doing a breeding loan, it would, you should either be friends like you and I are, where the friendship is right. way more important than anything that happens with yeah, the loan. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Or get a contract worked out by yeah. lawyers, notarized, like, legal document that states everything at, that at least to close to, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I've done, I've done a few breeding loans. I, it's certainly not something I do on a super regular basis, but I mean, I have some breeding loans with, um, with Nick. I have a breeding loan with you. I have a breeding loan, uh, loan. I can't talk, uh, a breeding loan with, uh, my buddy, Chris, Rum. um, uh, he has one of my blood pythons. Um, um, and, uh, I did a breeding loan with, uh, Owen McIntyre from, uh, um, uh, rogue exonics, um, or rogue Re reptiles. And really a Python radio. Yeah. NPR. Uh, he, unfortunately my female passed away on me, which sucks. Um, but, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's something that you have to really feel comfortable with. Um, you know, <laughs> Being comfortable. I'm sorry, dude. Every time, like everybody says, um, but oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean. To I have you. a lot. No, no, I have a lot of filler noise that I make. Um, see, I just said it, and I caught myself saying. Well, I didn't want to cut you off. I, I just <laughs> say something. I was thinking about. I was thinking about the song. <laughs> I'm a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake, and it's coming over here. It's a snake. <laughs> oh God. Good times. Yeah, that was good times. I don't remember what I was talking Breeding about. Loans. Breeding loans. Yes, but you have several. You have one. You have one with me. You got. I was talking about Nick. Owen. You've got one with Owen. Nope, still lost track. Uh, Damn it, guys. What was he talking about? I don't remember. Please help. Send help. Lots of help. I don't remember what direction I was going. It's too much rum. Um. Yeah, so breeding loans. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Zach over at Nava Reptiles had a question. Maybe that'll help. 
Yeah. So you had a help. breeding loan going and the female died and the other guys care? That's not the case, right? Uh, what was the question? Well, the question is, okay, so you had a breeding loan going and yes. the female died in Owen's care? No. 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 Your the, fe- it was your female. My female. It, yeah, he sent died me a at, male. Died at your place. He sent me a male and my female died, Um, which sucks. I've been trying to breed Maclots pythons for years. For some reason, I can't seem to figure them out. Um, and uh, Maclots pythons and, and Brettles pythons, for whatever reason, uh, don't seem to like breeding at my house. Um, not that I have a huge number to play with. I literally have a pair of each. Um, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to get them to breed. And, uh, um, or not at least successfully, um, I've been breeding Maclots pythons. I had a 2012 pair that I picked up from Nick that was produced by Brandon Wheeler at Morelli Python Radio, or, uh, I mean, uh, Morelli House. Morelli House. Um, thank you. Um, mm, Brandon, I think, is going on, uh, connected by creatures. Yeah. This week, maybe? Oh, yeah. I love, so my past with, with Morelia House, uh, Brandon has been one of my best friends since uh, forever and a day. Um, he used to, like, sleep over at my house all the time. Um, uh, we ran a shop called Radical Reptiles down in Orange County uh, together. We were, like, the managers. Um, and so uh, our past goes uh before I even met my wife. Um, so like 15 years we've, we've known each other. Um, yeah, he, uh, he's a good dude. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so yeah, my female died. Um, it was my fault. She, I don't, or I mean, I don't know what, what fault it is. I, she just randomly died on me. Um, uh, it sucked it, you know, but, um, you know, that breeding loan was over and I sent him back his mail. His mail's nice and healthy. Um, I mean, um, it was in my care. So, I mean, it wasn't, uh, I've never had an animal die in somebody else's care, but I mean, one of the biggest things to remember is that if you send out an animal on a breeding loan, don't ever expect it to come back. That's, that's the goal is that you need to tell yourself in your brain, your brain, if you send this animal out, like it's never going to come back. Um, that's and are learned, you okay with that's that? That's something I learned as well as like lo- loans with friends, like just a loan yeah. of any kind. It's like a money yeah. loan or yeah. family, fr- family, friends. Like yeah. you send out, you give somebody that's a family or friend yeah. a loan. Yeah. You just kind of ex- have that. That's, that's the best. Have that expectation it's that coming it's back. never coming back. Yeah. And if you're okay with that, then we can start talking about if that's okay. You know what I mean? Like the, the loans I have with people, you know, and animals where I have elsewhere, you know, I expect that they're never going to come home. Um, um, the fact that they do come home is awesome. Like, and that's kind of the expectation you have to start with. I mean, cause if, uh, I mean, I was talking about that same thing with yeah, just it's, investing. Cause in shit the, happens. I mean, I, you know what I mean? Like, like my female died. Like what, ha, why she died? She, I'm my guesstimation as a breeder is that she went to ovulate and something was drastically wrong with the ovulation and she croaked. That's my honest belief. Um, am I going to spend a ton of money on a necropsy and figure it out? No, I'm not. Like, um, I mean, uh, would that probably be beneficial? Maybe like, but I mean, um, you know, it, it's just one of those things that unfortunately as a breeder, I have hundreds of snakes and stuff dies. I mean, it, it, it's, it's like our video that we did the other day, as far as like something went wrong. Do we know what went wrong? No. You like know what, you know what the weird thing is, dude. I went back and looked at the footage just to double check of before when we were pulling the clutch. How many eggs were kicked out? Yeah, the, the same amount. The exact died. same amount. The, the ones that she had kept in her coils. They that's know. How they, they know better than we do. I, I, I mean, um, and, and if we go back and look at, if I go back and look at 
the amount of clutches that I've produced, the the eggs that have been kicked out of a clutch um, are probably pretty accurate with the amount of eggs that went bad. Um, I had our, our they, low, uh, female did the same thing. She kicked out just one egg that looked good. And I, I threw it and I actually set that one, you know, slightly apart from the clutch just right. in case. And that one went bad like in three days. Yeah. Now head veins, everything. Just I mean, is that is that intuition or is it because they kicked it out and that's, and why, that's why it went bad? I don't know. That's a good question. But I mean, um, but like you said, I mean, you know, so so stuff happens. You know what I mean? Like, and and that's and that's the bottom line. Is it's like you know when you're talking about breeding loans, it's like you. You have to expect that that animal's never coming back. Like, and you have to be okay with that. Like, I mean, it sucks. Like, uh, I mean, it sucks anytime anything dies. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, but unfortunately when you have the amount of numbers that, that we start to get to when you're breeding, I mean, the likelihood increases with every clutch that you get. I mean, um, things are going to go bad. Things are going to go awry. Like, I mean, um, honestly, I, I wish I kept track of, of all the craziness that, that has happened in clutches that I've had, like I mean, brains on the wrong side. I think the weirdest one that I've never taken, I should have taken pictures of was I, I could open a bull snake egg and the, the, it was a fully scalated, like, perfectly formed egg. What do you mean scalated? The egg? So I cut open the egg and okay. inside the egg was an egg-shaped body of some sort, shaped like an egg. Perfectly shaped like an egg, but scaled. Like no sign of serpent. So there was like no 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 no. No, it like had like a belly scale section. And then it had like a body scale section, but it was perfectly formed like an egg. No head, no body, just oh no 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 shape. no nothing. It's like a, like a, like an egg made out of scales. Yeah, with the back and yeah, I hatched that about three years ago. Dude, you definitely should have taken a picture. Of that. I know, right? <laughs> I kick myself all the time because I've told this story a hundred times, and I'm like, why didn't I take a picture of that? I don't know. Like, it was one of those like. I've taken pictures of stuff where their brain was on the wrong side of their head, you know, when they were born or they had, you know, uh, some sort of crazy abnormality, but no, did I take a picture of that? No, I totally just, I cut it open. I was like, wow, that's super weird. And I threw it away. Oh my God. <laughs> like, like, uh, cancel this man. I, no, no, I guess that's why I didn't hatch. Like didn't have a face. Wow. Like <laughs> that's weird. I, but I, I mean, I'm, imagining, I'm using my imagination. Thanks to your lack of picture taking. What, what it might look like. <laughs> but <laughs> I can kind of see it. I mean, the kids describe enough crazy stuff to me, but I always try to think like, it was weird. Talking about? But, it was super weird. It, it had belly scales. It had, it was perfectly, it was a normal, uh, normal bull snake. Bull snake. Bull snake, yeah. But yeah, it was it was it, the exact inner shape of the egg. Sounds super um, interesting. But did I take a picture? No. Uh, that would be yeah, that's much that would be like smart or something. I mean, it would have been nice to see it. Let's, let's <laughs> I know. I kick myself all the time for it. But I mean, but the odds increase. What, you know, I mean, you figure I produced 184 babies last year. Um, which is the biggest production we've ever had here at Living Legless. I mean, and like, and s there's a you know a couple that are gonna not hatch right. Like you know you cut open the egg afterwards. Like, and like I mean I I tend to throw a slit in stuff just to make sure it hatches. Um, I don't go all like you know crazy big window thing, um, but I'll I'll throw a slit in it in the top. You just know like. Help. Just to see it, you know, make sure it, it, in case there's some sort of egg tooth problem, you know what I mean? Like you figure, like we're not in the natural world. We're not worried about natural selection, you know what I mean? So it's like, I want every baby that could possibly, you know, make it to make it. I mean, which, do, you, do you do any uh, maternal incubations at all ever? You know, I keep telling myself I'm gonna, and I haven't yet. Um, I, same, same. I, I, had, I came, I, we came back from, like I, I walked in from our trip this weekend to... 
our uh, purple passion girl sitting on eggs. And I, I thought about it for a second because I've been thinking about doing it. It's like, I've thought about it. it well, especially because I work with a lot of carpet pythons and, and carpet pythons are known to be like really good at, you know, their own maternal incubation. Um, there's some great information in the complete carpet python book about it um, where he's like, he dropped in as she's laying. He like dropped Nick dropped in some like um, thermal regulator, like temperature probes, like, and like, they're like kind of egg shaped. And so like, she thought it was an egg type of deal. Like, I mean, so there's great, like, and very interesting, like temperature spikes and stuff. Like, um, you know, we're so like, uh, you know, periods, you know, we're so like, Oh, you put it in a, you know, incubator. It can't. I say, you know what I say we do? Reconnection successful. It's fine. It doesn't. She's, successful. she's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to, to talk whenever. The, yeah. Uh, right. I know. We're going, nothing for, happened. For no, reals. They're not spinning again. <laughs> Are you spinning again? I'm not spinning. Oh, you stopped it? I'll run it again. No, 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 no. It's, it's good. If you, right. and we'll just say we're having major issues and we're going to go over to the, uh, thing now because that right. seems like be the like thing to do this is for having all these options or la lack of options uh issues that's what i meant <laughs> lack of options <laughs> whatever all right we're gonna jump over to our zoom call that we do every time at the end of these triple b tv live streams and uh have a uh, less issues over there for sure raising hands in the air Looks current to me. Yep, cool. All right. So yeah. we're out. I think we got the information out that we really wanted to. Travis, is there anything you want to say before we cut over to the uh, Zoom call? No, I, th I think we covered it. I, mean, I feel like we did too. Yeah, if be, be very good friends. Expect nothing in return to have the most satisfaction possible when things yeah. do come back. Yeah. If you do not have utmost complete trust in the person you're doing the loan with get a legal document worked out so yeah. that you know a contract yeah, so that absolutely you have you have to have clear expectations of what you know what's going to come of this whether you're going to split the the clutch 50 50 or if you're going to 70 40 or whatever it is like whatever you feel comfortable with i mean you know uh you have to have those clear expectations i mean um you know whether, you know, like, um, like how you and I do and how other people I work with do, it's like, you know, you, you get first, you know, you get first dip because you, you've done all the work. You know what I mean? Like you have my mail, you're doing the breeding, you're incubating the eggs. You know what I mean? Like you get first pick of the babies, you know, like that's how I look at it. Yeah. Like, cause and that's it's what like we, what we did mention. I've I mean, got a male BCO at your place right now. That's yeah. hopefully going to sire a, uh, a litter. Yeah. And then that'll be, it'll be basically the reverse of that. We'll Rever over, yeah, exactly. You, you'll take first pick and we'll just have fun from right. there. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So, yeah, I mean, it, have clear expectations. Uh, expect the animal to never come back to your, care i mean you know uh and i mean you know and then and just have you know work out all the the fine details if this was to die what do we want to do if this was to happen if we don't get anything you know what you know or if we get something you know what you know what do we do i mean you have to play out all the variables because if you don't i mean something whatever that variable you didn't think about is going to pop up and then that's going to be the issue i mean so you have to and you uh, the bottom line is is you have to trust the person that you have i mean that animal is in their care it's like i mean it's you have to have that trust or yeah it's it's no good i mean so yep uh livinglegless.com Living legless everywhere. Instagram uh, hasn't been a YouTube video recently, but we'll. I'm gonna make one. He's gonna make one. I'm gonna I'm gonna start live streaming, and make some more videos. I promise. I've All been right. getting enough flack from people <laughs> saying that I need to do more YouTube, and so I will do more YouTube. I promise. And 
he's got lots of different species happening this year. There's a lot of stuff coming. So yeah, I've started pairing up bull snakes. Uh, just yesterday, we started pairing up bull snakes. So we'll have lots of bull snakes, uh, lots of carpets, lots of uh, hopefully boa stuff, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, lots of fun stuff coming 2021 for for living like this. I'm gonna I'm go excited. Film every time you have a question, you hit me up so I can like come over and oh yeah, and film yeah, it. we can we do that. vlog it. You don't have to do any YouTube. I'll come. I'll do your YouTube for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sold. You heard it here, folks. I don't have to YouTube anymore. Brian's gonna handle you have it. To, you have to call me. Let me know. I can do that. I can do that. All right. As long I as got you a call phone. Me, let me know. I mean, yeah. all those species that you got going on over there. I'd love to come over and film happening. If you get another one of those weird scale eggs, then. I'll yeah, I'm I'm d- I'm gonna take pictures at the very least. No, you're gonna call it. me. <laughs> I'm gonna come over with my macro lens. We're gonna get it video film. Video film. Spin it, and we're gonna like get every angle possible. All the all the weird stuff that happens. Yes. Yeah. All the weird stuff that happens. I've definitely had. You have a fair amount, and you will have more in and all the years. Do it. We're gonna do yeah. it. Do it. You guys have yourselves a great evening. Thank you for tuning in for the stream. All the issues. I'm getting a new computer this week, and. Everything should be better after that, right? Good. Thanks. <laughs>